The old Corvette and the barn store. Everybody loves those stores. You know? So how far is your house from here? Five minutes at the most. Before it, the car is so clean, it's it looks like it's staged. I mean, it's stupid how clean it is. I never thought she would sell it because it didn't. It wasn't in her way. Plus the sentimental attachment too. You know? so. We had been dating since '59, and then we um, and then he called me one day and said I got a surprise for you. And I thought I'm getting my diamond. I'm getting my diamond. He walked me out the walkway, and there stood, stood the Corvette. <laughs> Needless to say, I was disappointed. <laughs> and I just said, "What did you do?" That's all I said. What did you do? <laughs> so, but we never got married till '65. So, is this how you found it? Just like this, right? It's been here as long as I've known about it. Probably about, I first heard about it probably around 81 or 82 through the son, Mark. Steve had talked to me a few times about it. He's a very good friend of my son, so I'm very happy. We're all happy. In 13 years, I kept saying, I gotta do something, I gotta do something. Want the lights on? You know, I had a list of nine people who wanted it. I said, I just can't call all of them. I can't. Steve wanted to cut it from. Yes, yeah, it's, it's dry. Uh, no mice problems, no moisture, no condensation issues, no mold. The Corvette was my husband's passion, and he was always going to rebuild it. He took it off the road. We had it on the road until winter, mm -hmm. and then in the winter we'd take it off. And when my son was a year and a half old, we moved, we put it in the garage and it, at another house. And then we came here, he built the barn, and that's where it sat because he got into tea buckets. And he built a tea bucket. There's a picture of him up there with it. And um, he's, uh, and that's what he did. And then he realized, you know, he was very sick. So he went down in the cellar and rebuilt the engine and got it all done. And then, and of course, he's been gone 13 years now, so... Um, so it's just, just for something he just never got done. We went on that, yeah, yeah. We went down to Virginia Beach, and I can remember we got in Washington at like 11 o'clock at night, hotter than heck. We got married the end of April, and uh, Next thing I know, he says, here, yeah, help me. Taking the hot chop off, bringing it upstairs, put it in the hotel room, and riding around at midnight in Washington with the top down. Surprisingly, the tires held here from two weeks ago. The tires were flat as a pancake, but they held here. And there's some super old Firestone 500s, I think they are. Pull the door open here. Sure. I haven't found the keys yet to get the trunk open. I kind of think the keys are probably tucked away somewhere in the car. You know, the seats show where because of the mileage. But... It was uh, driven pretty tenderly for the miles it was used. It wasn't abused. Yeah, it's a 62 fuel injected Corvette. Um, other than the fuel injection, it's got a power windows and it's factory paint, maroon, fun, saddle interior, and it's been sleeping for 50 years. Well, it's the top dog in 62. I mean, as far as the performance and the horsepower, they were 360 horse, 327s. It was the first year for a 327. And um, if you own this car when it was brand new, it was pretty much king of the road. I don't think anything could really touch it. Um, let me uh, find, find the lights. I forgot where the lights were. Oh, it's up there. Well, the, the valve covers are just something newer they put on just to keep the dust and debris out, probably the, the original ones I, I took on the first uh, parts run, like took the stuff out of the basement because these shelves behind you were chuck full and the shelves over there were all full of parts. Um, the 
some reason, he didn't want to take the car apart until the odometer read 99,999 miles and 9 tenths. So on purpose, he drove it around whatever neighborhood he lived in back then, which I think was either Boylston or West Boylston. And uh, when it reached that, that mark, that was it. That was the end of driving it, and that's when it came apart. You know? It was ready for a rebuild with that kind of mileage on it. The so, car doesn't look like it's got that kind of miles on it. And my brother and myself, we were shocked because it just doesn't have a lot of road rash on it. But there's an oil change sticker in the glove box door that verifies the mileage is as high as it is. You know? You know? So when you went down and looked at the engine, did you match the numbers and stuff? I did not. I was just really overwhelmed with... No need. Yeah, I mean, I, I could bet my life on it that that's the real motor just from the people that know the car and know the stories. I mean, it's not, there's no other story with the car, you know, and uh, he didn't, he didn't abuse the car. It's not an old race car. It's not altered at all. The only thing it altered on is it's got Corvette side exhaust tucked under the rocker panels. Oh. Yeah, it's still there. No. It's, it's original paint. It's a no hit car. It's, it's got some cracking and checking, which can be expected in paint of this age, but overall the condition is incredible for sitting this this long you know this isn't a heated barn you know it's but it's dry and rodent free and um, the car didn't have any condensation issues when I first looked at the cars a couple spots on the they normally pit really bad down in here and up here and stuff and I just gave it a little rub and this little protective film is just dust I mean it's just it just needs a good cleaning, and that's it. And he calls me today and says, you got to come and help me. No. I brought uh, two magic wands, and we're going to take them and just... And it's a very dust. Did you say wands or wands? Yeah, right. And we're just going <laughs> to sprinkle it around the car, and it's going to magically appear on the trailer. <laughs> well, this is just a dream anyway, so I'm going to wake up pretty soon. So it's going to fizzle out any minute now. We're going to... You're gonna have. I think we're gonna have our hands full, Steve. We need instead of two guys, we need like 22 guys. No, I'm you know I gotta. You know I'm getting old. I don't know if I can even do this. I am Captain Adventure. I can move anything. You know that. I'm great. All right. I'm a professional mover. You know that, Gary. You've seen me move stuff, right? What is that? It's a rare find. The Liberty Bell's been discovered. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work to have fun. <laughs> Much. My son Mark has zero interest. In, zero interest in cars. That's pretty intelligent. <laughs> Not a dummy like us. <laughs> We're gonna jack it right around, Steve. Two shots, one in the front, one in the back. Line that baby right up. Go get your floor jack while you're doing nothing. Gary, I'm surprised you don't remember this car when you were a kid. I think I do. It's just so bad you called the landmark. He said, you know, this is an iconic moment. And they said to me, he said, Johnny, Many, many people knew there was a Corvette in a barn and hold it, but nobody knew where it was. Oh, I, it was a big, you know, legend. You know? I, I never realized that. Oh, yeah. Did you realize that, right? Yeah, it's stuck. i got to get some air in the tires on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. It would be nice to take the cap off, right? <laughs> so, so nervous. <laughs> He's so nervous. Beauty. <laughs> now, I'm not getting enough here. Is it going up? You get the handles locked in? <laughs> Is he a beauty? No. I'm Mark. Oh. I'm Gary's son. Yep, oh. That's a good job. A little more. Right there. Uh, a little more. <laughs> Nice job, yeah. Um, I'm wearing it. <laughs> ain't he neat? God, don't you? Ain't, ain't he neat? Okay? Yep. Ready? 
Mark, watch that yeah. back. You may be able to make this in one shot and get the jack back. I can't see that quarter. No, no, there. I'm okay there. Yeah. The story was that this car can come out in one shot from what I heard over the years. And all at the same time. We tried to. You got room here. How we doing, Mark? I just knocked over a pickle jar. Okay. Um, you have about eight inches on each side. Of all right, we're gonna kick we it back to get by this. Hold up, hold up. Slow. We're gonna go forward now. Whoops. Okay. Pull oh. towards me, Gary. Let's still go by it. It's right on it. It's okay. It's on it. It's on it. It's okay. Let's go forward. Stop. I can. Well, you're doing pretty good, Steve. I've done this before. Ready? Yep. Okay. That's about it, Steve. Come on. Wow. Oh, what a wrong. Think about you that. Know, 50 years. It's a time warp, isn't it? In captivity, Stevie. I mean, Dad, you know me. I'm not really into cars, but this is pretty cool. I'm kind of speechless seeing it now. Well, you know? you know, Steve, after you get it out and start putting it together, it's going to be something. Uh, it's going to be history in the making. Actually, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, get that original motor back in. Get that paint fluffy. These tires. These repops are original. Swat we purchased skip eight years ago. Yeah. So they're probably real. Because he's gonna knock me over. <laughs> no. You gotta come over another foot. Any anything to just in here to give it a little support, Steve. My kids are about to see what. Big deal. Um, how are we doing on that? How are we yeah. doing on that door though? Does that door open anymore, Gary? No, we're okay. But I think that would be it. Just to keep the bounce off. Yeah. Paul O'Keefe from and, and uh, from here in town and Skip and I worked together for many years so so you know, one, one of the, the thing so one of the things that makes this car unique is other than having the engine yanked it has never been a part yep. I know that for a fact I can remember when I had Mark I was pregnant yep. with Mark and it was time to have Mark and, and I'm dying and Skip says well get in the car and I said if you think I'm going to the hospital in that Corvette, you're out of your ever-loving mind. <laughs> we drove, and and we only driving. lived a mile oh, yeah. down the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we drove a mile down the road, lived a mile down the road in the old farmhouse. He drove up here and got his mother, Gray and Paula, yeah. and came back and got me. I could have never made it in that car. Oh, you were going to take me? He was going to take me to the hospital to have my so baby, no and I was dying. So we used to go on, he belonged to the Corvette Club a long time ago, and we used to go on all the rallies and the, um, like treasure hunt type things, scavenger hunts and stuff like that with the club. How long you know this known this guy here? Oh boy. What, the later eighties? Yeah. Something I mean, like that. I knew him, but I when he was young I just Yeah, just like walk over. <laughs> Get away from me, kid, you bother, you bother me. But now he's always telling me that, you know He's like a, a he's the kid. You're, you're like a father to me. I love you. I can't I can't handle it. I wanna get rid of him. 
And I sent him. He's like an eight year old. He I wants sent, to take everything apart. And I sent them. him <laughs> to get cars for me halfway. Not only to go get them, negotiate the price. Oh, oh yeah. It's been a riot. He sends me down to PA to get a 69 and a half six pack Roadrunner car, unrestored car, killer car. And uh, he's in the he was in the Halloween business, so he gives me this pumpkin, you know, candy pumpkin, you know, kid thing. <laughs> and it was pretty heavy with green, so that's how I delivered the cash. Was in the in the pumpkin head. The guy who was buying the car loved it. I put it on the table. He's like, "Wow, uh, trick or treat!" <laughs> you gotta come and help me. Sometimes he does me a big favor and lets me work on some of his cars. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't have time to work on my own stuff. He wants me to work on his stuff. And he doesn't want to work on anything. You want to ride by Bob Cousy's house? He lives right here in Worcester. Yeah.